There are 7,164 languages spoken in the world today. But 50 years from now, that number could be cut in half. Roughly 42% of today's languages are considered endangered, and some sources are even less optimistic. British linguist David Grattle once estimated that as many as 90% of the world's languages could eventually become extinct. The Endangered Language Alliance estimates that hundreds of languages are already down to just a handful of living speakers. And a piece in National Geographic stated that a different language loses its final speaker and effectively disappears from the world every two weeks. But even as some languages die out, others are being preserved, rediscovered, or even created. Chana, an indigenous language once found along the Paraná River in South America, was considered lost for years. Then, a single living speaker came forward to help document and pass on the language. Similar efforts are happening around the world with uncommon and endangered languages. And other languages are only growing. Mandarin, Spanish, English, and Hindi are amongst the five most common native languages in the world. Each one is projected to have more speakers in the coming decades. Mandarin Chinese alone should account for well over a billion native speakers by 2050. Arabic is also in the top five today, but some experts believe it will actually have fewer native speakers in the coming years. And while there may be only around half a billion native English speakers by 2050, English as a second language should continue to grow. By most estimates, there will be more than 1.5 billion total English speakers by the middle of the current century. Every continent except Antarctica has given the world hundreds of languages or more. But which continent is responsible for the most languages? Europe's nearly 300 extant indigenous languages makes it lowest on the list, but within those languages are countless dialects, which contribute to its rich linguistic diversity. On the other end of the spectrum is Africa, which is responsible for around 30% of the world's living languages. In terms of the number of languages, Asia is the world's most linguistically diverse continent. It's responsible for around 32% of the world's languages, more than 2,000 in total.